How to add body to your hair with beer. Instead of pouring stale beer down the drain, put it on your head. The protein, B vitamins, and sugar will give your hair unbeatable body and shine. You will need one to two bottles of beer, one large bowl, and a spray bottle. Optional, essential oil such as rosemary, lemon, or calendula, and chamomile tea. Step one, pour beer into a bowl large enough to fit your head. Wait until it's flat and warm. Flat beer doesn't smell of alcohol. Step two, place the bowl in the sink or shower area. Soak your hair in the beer for five minutes, working it through your hair with your hands. Add a few drops of essential oils for extra conditioning and shine and for great smelling hair. Step three, rinse off the beer with warm water and condition your hair as usual. To avoid any residual beer smell, rinse with cool chamomile tea. Step four, use a spray bottle and spritz beer onto damp hair before blow drying and styling. It'll give your dew hold and shine. Did you know George Washington supplied his troops with a quart of beer each day during the Revolutionary War? How to care for dry, damaged hair. Do frizzy ends and constant flyaway strands sound familiar? Here's how to restore shine and manageability to your tresses. You will need gentle shampoo, protein-rich conditioner, a headscarf or hat, and a hot oil treatment. Optional, hair protectant spray. Step one. Washing your hair every day can zap away moisture from the scalp and dry out your hair. Shampoo your hair once every two or three days to retain moisture. Step two, natural conditioners that contain a high concentration of protein work best for dry, damaged hair. The proteins help smooth out the hair and protect the strands from root to tip. Always make sure to rinse conditioner thoroughly from the hair or you'll be left with residue that makes the hair dull and lifeless. Step three, Skip the blow dryer and let your hair dry naturally or use the blow dryer on its lowest settings. Step four, wear a headscarf or hat to protect your hair from UV damage. Use a hair protectant spray if you plan to be in the sun for longer than a couple of hours. Step five, give yourself a vigorous scalp massage or ask someone to give you one every week to increase blood circulation to your scalp. This will also strengthen roots and follicles. Step six, a weekly hot oil treatment can restore lost moisture and make your hair silky and soft. Hot oil treatments will also stimulate blood flow to the scalp, making hair become stronger and healthier. Did you know women in Asia have used olive, coconut, and jojoba oil as natural conditioners for centuries? How to choose the best brushes and combs. Hair in a tangle? Follow these steps to choose the perfect brush or comb. You will need your hair type and your styling needs. Step one, determine your hair type, which can range from fine hair that is straight and silky to coarse hair that is curly or wiry. Most hair falls between these two extremes. When determining your hair type, base it on your hair's natural tendencies, not your preferred style. Step two, assess your hair styling needs. If you blow dry, curl, or straighten your hair, you'll need a special brush. Step three, choose a brush. Use a padded paddle brush for medium to long hair, but if you have very short hair, you may not need a brush. Step four, choose a comb. A pick or wide toothed comb works well to detangle coarse hair. Those with short, fine hair can use a finer toothed comb. Your own fingers may be the best tools for detangling coarse hair and separating curls. Step five, choose a styling brush. For quick blow drying, use a vented brush. To create body and waves or smooth frizziness, use a rounded brush with nylon or natural bristles. Step six, look for quality. Brushes should have comfortable, ergonomic handles and nylon bristles should have molded, round tips. Plastic combs should be free of seams that can snag hair. Did you know? The first vented, synthetic bristled hairbrush was patented by American Lydia Newman in 1898. How to choose the best hairstyles for curly hair. Curly hair is fun and shows confidence. Follow these simple steps to choose the best hairstyle for curly hair. You will need curly hair, magazines, an experienced curly hair stylist, and hair care products. Step one, determine your face shape. This will help you choose which curly hairstyles work for you. Step two, look through a variety of magazines to see which hairstyles will complement your face shape. Wear bangs to conceal a long forehead. Step three, find a hairstylist who has experience with curly hair. Curly hair is typically more complicated to style than straight hair. Curly hair is great for a square-shaped face, 
It helps soften the jawline. Step four, consider the weather. Rain and humidity can frizz curly hair. On wet or humid days, tie your hair back in a ponytail. Step five, choose a long hairstyle to avoid the frizz that is common to short hairstyles. The weight of longer hair creates a softer curl. Step six, adopt a short hairstyle if you have an oval-shaped face. Shorter layers frame the face and light bangs swept to the side add a lifting effect. Razor and slice cutting techniques and incorrect layering will cause your hair to frizz. Step seven, prepare to get sticky. Use hairspray and gels to stave off frizz. Did you know? In the United States, approximately 2% of the population has red hair. How to get gum out of your hair. Your mom's gonna freak when she sees that big wad of gum in your hair, unless you get it out first. Here's how, without breaking out the scissors. You will need ice, a plastic sandwich bag, olive oil, a washcloth, peanut butter, a wide tooth comb, shampoo, and conditioner if you use it. Optional, a bag of frozen peas or corn. Step one, put some ice in the plastic bag and seal it up. Step two, hold the bag against the gum in your hair. Freezing it will make it easier to get out. If there's an unopened package of frozen peas or corn in the freezer, you can try using that instead of ice. Step three, when the gum is good and hard, try gently pulling at it. If it won't come away without breaking your hair, it's time to try another tactic. Step four, pour a little olive oil over the gummy hair, holding a washcloth underneath it to catch any overflow. Or smear a little peanut butter in your hair where the gum is stuck. The idea is that the oil will make the gum slippery. Don't just dab the oil or peanut butter onto your hair. Knead it into the gum with your fingers or a washcloth. Step five, use your fingers or the comb to gently tease out the hopefully loosened bits of gum. Step six, now hit the shower. You'll probably need to shampoo a few times to get all that gunk out. And next time, tie your hair out of your face before you blow the world's biggest bubble. Did you know? Kids in North America spend about half a billion dollars on bubble gum each year. How to get knots out of your hair. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Stop pulling your hair out and get those stubborn knots out without causing damage to your tender scalp. You will need two cups water, a quarter cup of conditioner, a spray bottle, a comb, shampoo, and a towel. Step one, separate the hair in the knot as much as possible with your fingers. If the hair will not separate, don't force it. You don't want to rip your hair out or break the hair at the knot. Step two, mix the water and conditioner and pour the solution into a spray bottle. Step three, spray the detangler on the knotted hair until it is saturated, then gently comb the knot out. Use short comb strokes to remove tangles and gently ease out the knots. Step four, wash and condition your hair as usual. Step five, towel dry your hair and comb it out completely. Use your detangler as often as necessary to remove those stubborn snarls. Did you know? The Pompadour hairstyle is named after the Marquis de Pompadour who lived in 18th century France. How to grow your hair faster. Getting a Rapunzel-like mane takes time, but you can speed things up with these valuable tips. You will need a boar bristle brush, moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, leave-in conditioner, a deep conditioning treatment with protein, a multivitamin, and a silica supplement. Optional, a charcoal shower filter, and a satin pillowcase. Step one, use a boar bristle brush to brush your hair with your head upside down. Brushing hair this way brings the hair's natural oils to dry ends and promotes circulation to the scalp, which helps hair grow. Step two, use moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. Spritz a leave-in conditioner on ends daily. Once a month, apply a deep conditioning treatment with protein and don't wash your hair every day. Step three, massage your scalp with your fingertips while washing your hair. Start at the nape of the neck and work around the hairline. Massaging helps nutrients penetrate your follicles faster. Use a charcoal filter on your shower head. High mineral content in hard water can damage delicate hair. Step four, don't use heated appliances on your hair, including blow dryers, curling irons, and flat irons. Long hair should be air dried or dried under a professional dryer at no more than 108 degrees. Sleep on a satin pillowcase to prevent hair from breaking and tangling at night. Step five, take a daily multivitamin that contains antioxidants and B vitamins, including biotin. Vitamins help strengthen hair. Silica supplements are known to encourage hair growth. Step six, 
Avoid coloring your hair. If you must, treat only the new growth or color less often. Step 7. Don't cut your hair or get frequent trims. Contrary to popular belief, constant trimming will only make hair shorter. Get one trim to clean up split ends prior to growing it out, then let it grow. Did you know? Genes determine the upper limit for hair growth. You inherit hair genetics from your father's mother and your mother's father. How to make a buttermilk mask for healthy hair. Buttermilk is not only good for your body, it can also give you a stronger, more manageable, and dandruff-free mane. You will need a half cup of buttermilk, one egg yolk, one cup of yogurt, two tablespoons of honey, plastic wrap or a shower cap, and a blow dryer. Step one, combine the buttermilk with the egg yolk, yogurt, and honey. Double the recipe if you have long hair. Step two, slather mixture onto damp hair and gently massage into hair from roots to ends. Step three, wrap your hair in plastic wrap or a shower cap. Use a blow dryer to help the mask penetrate the hair cuticle. Step four, leave the mixture on for at least 30 minutes. Step five, rinse hair with warm water. Shampoo and condition as usual. Follow with a cold water rinse for an extra boost of shine. Use this mask twice monthly for best results. Step six, blow dry with hair pulled taut and the nozzle pointed downward to flatten cuticles for even glossier locks. Did you know? Traditionally, buttermilk was the sour liquid left after churning butter. Today, it's made by adding bacteria to regular milk. How to make a banana hair mask to combat frizz. Walk right past that pricey salon and head to the grocery store instead. Tame your frizz for less at home. You will need two to three ripe bananas, a small mixing bowl, two to three tablespoons of honey, plastic wrap or a shower cap, and a towel. Optional, a vitamin E capsule. Step one, mash two ripe bananas in a small mixing bowl, three if you have long hair, and combine with two to three tablespoons of honey. For extra conditioning, squeeze in a vitamin E capsule. Step two, apply liberally and gently massage into damp hair, starting at the roots and working your way to the ends. Don't brush or comb when using a mask. Hair is more prone to damage during treatment. Step three, wrap your hair in plastic wrap or a shower cap. Use your blow dryer on a warm setting over your head to help the mask penetrate the hair cuticle. Step four, wrap a towel over the plastic and keep the mixture on for at least 30 minutes. Step five, rinse your hair, shampoo, and condition as usual. Rinse again with very cold water to seal in shine. Step six, let your hair air dry to maintain shine and reduce heat damage. Did you know? Hair turns gray because older follicles have more hydrogen peroxide, which blocks the synthesis of hair's natural pigment.